Hey guys, this is Lim and today I have a very special device for you. This is the Vivo X21. So apparently it is the first or maybe one of the first mobile phones to have an to have a fingerprint scanner that is under the screen. So this is supposed to be the mobile of the future and you can see from the outline in this design that the phone will have a notch and a very thin bezels. So the box feels really nice. It feels like a premium device and we have FIFA World Cup Russia 2018 on the box so let's jump right into the unboxing okay let's just unbox this device so as we remove the cover we're greeted with the phone so let's just put this aside I got the white version in here let's see what we have this is just a piece of cardboard that does nothing and underneath we see that we have a transparent casing with some carbon fiber alike texture on the case so it's black on the sides and transparent on the back so we'll try this on later we also have a very nice pair of uh, earphones I will also test the quality of these earphones later and here we have the quick charge charger some manuals and yes here we have the USB cable so let me just check very quickly if this is a micro USB cable yeah there you go I mean just looking at this part you can tell that it is micro USB so I do not know why but for some reason the flagship device of Vivo still uses a micro USB which somehow just baffles me like no one is using this for their premium phones but anyway, that's not too important. Let's we have all the items in the box right here. The phone itself, the USB cable, micro USB cable, the quick charge charger, a nice pair of earphones, and the transparent casing. So that's it. Okay, now that we've got the unboxing out of the way, let's just quickly take a look at the device. So here we go. From the front it looks just yeah, it's just fully black, fully blacked out and it looks really cool. And I chose the white version because it doesn't show to have too many of the fingerprints. I saw some posts where people were posting pictures of their black device and there were just so many fingerprints on the back. So I don't like that and that's why I got the white version. So if you just look at the design, it's very slim on its sides. You have your volume rocker on the right, your power button on the right as well. And if you notice, you don't have a very big bu camera bump. It's just slightly there, but yeah, it sits really flush. So it's a very clean design, albeit looking a little bit like the iPhone 10. But otherwise, it feels good in hand as well. It has a, a very good build quality. So let's just power this device on. Okay, so as I boot the device, it shows me that I could use two of these functions to unlock the device. So let's just go with add fingerprint first. I'm just going to go with the easiest password. Oh god. There we go, let's try it now. Oh, so it's actually pretty simple. You just press on the little mark on the screen to register your fingerprint. So just bear with me while I register my fingerprint here. It feels very natural, like there is a little vibrate, vibration. Oh cool, okay and let me just add my face really quickly sorry it's only registering 80% of my face ah there you go blah 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 okay 
Okay, let's just skip that. Okay, there we go. Let's just try the unlock first. Yep, obviously it's seeing my face. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna move away from the camera so it doesn't see my face. Wow, it's pretty cool. I must say I really like this. Let's try it again. Nice. This is so cool. <laughs> yep, and face unlock works really quickly too as well. I didn't expect it to be so good, like... Yeah, so you do have to apply a little bit of pressure when you're unlocking the device. So... Yeah, it's really nice. So it seems like you really do not need to have a physical fingerprint sensor. You just let me just see if I can just rest my finger really lightly. Oh no, you gotta push it. Let me just try again. Yeah, you can't just rest your finger on the on the screen. You have to apply some pressure, but it's just a very light pressure that you have to apply to the screen to unlock it. All right, I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing this, but yeah, I'm just so <laughs> amazed by this new feature. Yeah, that's really cool. Alright, so there you have it. The under display fingerprint sensor which works amazingly well. And let's try the face unlock. Yeah, face unlock is super quick, you see. Hmm. Oops, face does not match. Yeah, I guess it's because the camera is blocking my face, but yeah, it works really fast. I really like this. I wish we had this. <laughs> I wish we have this kind of speed on the iPhone. All right, let's go into more details. Let's jump to the next stuff. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at how this phone operates. So Vivo calls this the Fun Touch OS, based on Android. But how it works is very similar to an iPhone. So you have the swipe up to go back to home. You do this to go to your your applications that is running in the background go back out and if you swipe from the left you get your control center so again go up to go to multitasking for home and let's say you want to go back so let's say you go into this you want to go back you hit this to go back here to go back so pretty simple it works pretty quick let's try it again go up you go yep it all works very fluid uh, I think I may have to take some time to get used to this, but it looks pretty promising right now. And there you have your notification center. Yeah, so let me know what you think of FunTouch OS. It looks very similar to iOS, but I could say that I would get used to this pretty quickly. Okay, so before we go through the quick look of this device, let me just introduce to you the specifications of the Vivo X21. So this device comes with a mid-tier Snapdragon 660 processor. It also comes with 6GB of RAM and 128GB of internal memory. But this memory is expandable with micro SD. So if you need more memory, you can do that. At the back, it has a dual, dual camera, a dual 12 megapixel camera. So both are 12 megapixels. And on the front, of course, you have this gorgeous 6.28 inch Super AMOLED display. So on first glance, it looks pretty good. Besides that, it also has a 3200 mAh battery. And I will definitely test that out to see if it lasts well on this device. So other than that, yeah, that is the basic specifications that you need to know. And most importantly, it has that super awesome fingerprint sensor okay guys so as you can see I just got the device I just got the Vivo X21 and I will need some time to go through this device in detail before I can release my comprehensive review but overall for a first quick look the device feels really nice in the hand and I like this really cool fingerprint sensor but I will do more testing on the camera how it works whether the battery is fine, whether it works through a full day and yeah, I'll share with you my experience of using this device on a daily basis. 
So please stay tuned to that. If you have any questions or if there is anything that you wish to know about this Vivo X21, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I will try my best to answer each and every one of your questions. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one and I wish you guys all a great weekend. See ya!